Sufis and the grave worshippers and all those decided to reject the da'wah of the Shaykh, then obviously they had to find reasons now on which they can reject the da'wah. They need evidence. And sure enough, in one of the saddest, most pathetic attempts in human history, they looked through two narrations from the Prophet ﷺ, which they used them to claim that you really have to be careful of this guy Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab. You have to be careful of him. This is where the horde of Satan came from. Now let me quote to you the two narrations so you will know exactly what we are dealing with. The first narration is the narration which was narrated to us by Bukhari. Let me give you the actual wording exactly. Bukhari. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, O oh Allah, bestow your blessings on our Sham. Sham is the area that is now called Lebanon, Syria, Jordan, Palestine. That, was, that used to be called Bilad al-Sham. O oh Allah, bestow your blessings on our Yemen. Everybody knows Yemen. The people said, O oh Messenger of Allah, and our Najd. Our Najd. And we will see what that means later on. The Prophet ﷺ said, There, meaning in Najd, will occur earthquakes, trials, and tribulations. And from there appears the horn of Satan. So he warned from where? He warned against Najd. He was making dua for Sham and Yemen. They said, include Najd. He said, no. There's going to be problems over there. Right. So they say, okay, Najd is a problem. FYI, Sheikh Muhammad Mohab was from where? From Uyayna, from Najd. Okay. So now this is the first, first voice. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's where the guy is coming from. Then 